All right, so there's been a lot of pedals that I've played throughout the years. I've tried fuzz pedals, I've done overdrive pedals, I've tried out reverb pedals and all kinds of uh, phase shifters and delays, but there's always been one pedal that I never, I never obtained. I never put on my board, I've never tried it. And I'm kicking myself now, thinking back on all of the possibilities that I could have used this on and how it really acts like a glue and thickens up my tone now. I'm really pissed off at myself for not getting one of these earlier. So, don't be like me. Get one. Welcome to the OC5. Welcome back to my channel, everybody. My name is Tommy Zamp, and today we are talking about the Boss OC5 pedal. If this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you can be notified of my future releases. I release a video once a week. It's always guitar related, whether it's a pedal or I'm giving you some uh, looping tutorials. The links below in the description box are my affiliate links. They help out the channel, so if you're looking for anything that I talk about, all the links are below. Definitely appreciate all the help. So, moving forward, let's talk about this octave pedal. I've never had one of these before, like I mentioned earlier, and getting one, it really blew my mind. I love how it, it, it thickens up my tone, especially when I'm, when I'm doing like, like a, a heavy guitar riff and I just, I, I want it to be a little bit grittier and thicker. It really, it's like super glue. It, it sucks it all together and it just punches you in the face. It's pretty insane. So before I get into uh, going into the demo, and I'm gonna play some guitar parts with it on, with it off, I'll do, um, I'll use it uh, with an acoustic guitar as well to give the, you know, if I wanna play a bass line with my looper and then, you know, play some chords over it. So we'll, we'll get into that as well. And I'll have everything time stamped in this video. So if you don't wanna see a certain part, you wanna fast forward, you can go to whatever it is that you need to see right now. The Boss OC5 is the newest octave pedal that they just came out with, and I'm telling you, it's pretty amazing. So, real quick, the famed holy grail of octave pedals, to my knowledge, has always been the Boss OC2. And this is the OC2 plus polyphonic. What I mean by that is when it's in vintage mode, right here, it simulates the OC2. And then when you pop it over, into polyphonic mode, that allows you to bring in uh, a wider range of frequencies when you're playing chords. And let's go over the knobs real quick. Right here, let's direct level. That allows you to adjust the level of your direct signal. The plus one octave or the octave above allows you to bring in or take out the higher octave. Negative one octave is the octave below that allows you to bring in the level of the lower octave and then negative two is the two octaves below what you're playing. In vintage mode, the, the negative two octave allows you to bring in that super low octave or keep it out altogether. In polyphonic mode, it allows you to bring in a wider range of frequencies. So by adjusting the knob here, you can get a bunch of different sounds. All in all, you can really dial in a tone that you want really well and specifically make it your sound pretty rad. The other really cool thing on the back here, you can notice there's a quick switch if you want to use this pedal with your guitar or you want to switch it over and use it with your bass. It's that easy. You have two outputs. You have your output and you have a direct out. So your direct out is your direct signal and the output is the octave. So if you want to just send your acoustic guitar directly out and you want to send the the lower end octave signals out to your mixer on separate channels, you have that option. It's pretty rad. So anyway, I think that's enough talking. Let's get into some sounds. All right, so let's just do a couple of sounds here. I've got a pretty decent, you know, heavy, crunchy tone. I've got it set to the vintage mode, which simulates the OC2, all right? So let me play a little, uh, I'll play that riff from Lenny Kravitz, okay? Cool, it's a good sound. Crunchy, right? So it's on the vintage mode, which means it's simulating the OC2 pedal. Now let's turn this on. This is what it sounds like.
That's... That's pretty insane. I mean, that sounds incredible. All right, so let's let's change up the settings. Okay, so now I've blended in a little bit more of the higher octave. You can hear it a little bit, right? It adds a little bit of clarity, so it's not it's not overwhelmingly low. You'll be able to work with it in the in the mix if you're recording with it. You know, it'll st it stands out a little bit more. Let's do the same riff. It's off. Now we'll turn it on. I mean, this this thing just sounds so good. It fattens up all your tone. All right, so now I've turned off the overdrive pedal, uh, which is my JHS Bonsai. If you've been to my channel before, you know I love this pedal. I use it on everything. I think it just all around sounds incredible. So yeah, if you want one, time's now. So this uh, is all running through my 68 Deluxe Reverb on the edge of breakup. Little, It's a little crunchy. But it's good. I switched over to the polyphonic mode. All right, so now I'm gonna play just an open D chord. That's your reference. Now it's on. Ooh, that sounds good. If you've been to my channel before, you know that I do a lot of things with loop pedals. I love loopers, I use them at all my gigs, and I've done a bunch of videos that you can see right here about them called The Essentials of Looping. So I'm gonna use those practices that I showed you in those videos right now. I'm gonna play Billy Joel's Moving Out. I'm gonna lay down the rhythm part, and then I'm gonna use the OC5 to simulate a bass, or a bass line, and then I'm gonna be able to solo over it, okay? So here we go. So I've got the bass line going, or I've got the I've got the rhythm section going, now I'm gonna add the bass line. Just loops all over the place now. All right, so you get the point. I think that's a uh, pretty killer. Sounds like a baseline to me. So guys, that is the Boss OC5. Pretty sick. I must say, it's pretty sick. I really enjoy this. Uh, like I said earlier, I can't believe that I didn't get one so many years ago. But now I have it, and I'm already writing, and I'm already recording with it. So stay tuned for my future releases by hitting that subscribe button and the bell icon. Leave a comment below. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you like the pedal. Do you have one? What are your favorite settings? And as always, the time is now, guys. If you want to do something, do it. Don't wait around. Thanks so much for checking me out. I'll see you next week.